I played with toys into my adulthood and have never told anyone. I played with Polly Pockets, Barbies, and little people for a lot longer than I should have. This went into my adulthood and through college. The only reason I stopped was because I was getting married and moving into a house with my husband. It's been two years now. I started hiding that I still played with these toys around 10-11 years old as I noticed other little girls stopped playing with them and a few even made fun of me for still having them. I kept them locked in a box under my bed up until I got married and moved out of my parents' house. This play was a form of escape for me. To let me disconnect from my real life and just dream. I have never told anyone this secret. Not even my husband. Can you imagine seeing a college-aged adult still playing with toys that you play with when you are 8 years old? I was embarrassed and humiliated. I did a pretty good job hiding it. When friends would come over I would hide the box in my parents' basement. Even hid them from my parents because I heard a comment from my mom one time as she was watching a show where these young adults were playing with Barbies. And she said could you imagine being an adult and playing with toys? This obviously made the embarrassment worse. Anyway, that's my confession. If I could, I would still play with them now. But I am a married adult and I have been trying to learn how to move on and find more adult hobbies. Thank you internet strangers for listening. Edit wow I was not expecting this kind of response. Thank you to every single one of you for your love and support. I have loved reading through everyone's stories and a bit of their childhood they still hold with them as well. Thank you all so so much I think I am going to tell my husband and drive to my parents to get all my toys I can't thank you all enough and thank you so much for the hug awards. I'm 32 and I have a stuffed animal. Susie the bear. That I occasionally hold at night when I'm anxious. My husband is aware of this and he's so damn sweet about it. There's nothing wrong with having a comfort item whether you decide to share or keep it to yourself. Just know you're not alone. You could always try The Sims. I explained to my girlfriend that it's essentially playing with a dollhouse but they actually move and interact with each other. I collect a certain kind of toy. Action figures fill certain parts of my house and my wife lets it go and I'm terrified to let her know that on occasion when I'm alone I'll bust them out and play once in a while. For me it's nice to remember a time when I didn't have to deal with my job or my jexed paycheck or whether we could feed and cloth our kids. You should still play with those toys. Seems to make you happy and that's all that really matters tbh. 58. I have Lego, trains, and other things. Honestly, I'm sure your husband will love you enough that he won't care. Make fun of. Or talk about you if you play with them. I think it's good that you're finding more hobbies but what really defines adult hobbies and childish hobbies? It's up to you. But if I had an escape that was considered childish, I wouldn't stop doing it just because people made fun of me. I'd still do it in secret and probably would continue until it stops working. You have got a wonderful mind. You are being able to play with toys as an adult. I am kind of jealous. Do you plan on having kids? You could play with them a lot. Also if you really want to change, then buy a console and play video games. It seems to be the more adult version of playing with toys. This is no different from people who use video games to escape. I loved playing with my Barbie dolls and still totally would if I had them. I played with my dollhouse till the end of high school. It was also an escape for me and a way to feel there was order in an unpredictable unsafe environment. 
Fun fact Did you know that all mammals play? Play is most frequent as children. But adults play too. Also, if you have children you can play with them all day. They love to play with toys. My best friend and I in college had a realization how much fun Barbies were growing up. We bought Barbies and would invite guys to our dorm room and make them play Barbies. If they acted weird or tried to make fun of us we'd kick them out. Laughing our asses off. Anyway, pretty soon we had guy friends stopping by to play Barbies all the time. Good fucking memories. I am an absolute grown adult 9, 5, it person it'd be so jazzed if I met someone who likes to play with. Polly Pockets. That form of play is so pure and delightfully tactile and I think it's rad as heck. I mean, you can pry my og my little ponies out of my cold, dead hands. I am 53 and I have some cool plushies and some really neat toys too. Nothing wrong with having something that brings you joy and happiness. If you really think about it, guys that have model trains, cars, planes or intricate Lego sets are also playing with toys. Model or not, it's a toy. I'm 50. Divorced. Live with my current girlfriend with my two kids 17, 15. And I love bringing out my old Star Wars toys to play with. We have one life. Have fun. Enjoy what you enjoy. There's a way to still play with toys. We call it Warhammer. Plenty of people go into the hobby for various reasons. The law. Making the models. Painting them. Or playing with them. When as a society did we make playing with toys not acceptable? I'm almost 30 and still play with Legos and my wife has OMG dolls. Play with your toys and never be embarrassed. I'm 47 and I still make my stuffies talk. We are all a little off in different D just never know it. I don't think you're weird. I mainly just want to hire you to play with my kids. I have a blankie I sleep with at night. I like to draw color. And I love playing pretend with my son or watching his cartoons with him especially Bluey. Playing is good for the brain it helps relieve stress and it's a healthy way to just let go and forget reality for a moment. It's also a good way to problem solve actually. Imagination creativity is looked down upon for some reason when it's super important to have heart. I'm sure your husband will still love you all the same he may not understand it. But he'll still love you. She at better than doing drugs. Do you boo? I'm 58 and collect Godzilla toys. I move them around to different places in our house and pose them. Also. My awesome wife got me a giant Lego Porsche for Father's Day. Keep doing what makes you happy. Not weird you should record yourself playing out the scenarios and post it on TikTok. There's a guy doing that now with his Barbie collection and it's about the funniest thing I've ever seen turn it into content and no one would judge it. If you like it you shouldn't change. Are you excited for the Barbie movie? 31 years old I collect and play with action figures still. Life is too short to worry about what others think about you. Do what makes you happy. I'm 61 years old and a retired firefighter. I have built plastic models since I was 6 and still do. I still play with Hot Wheels. And Lego. There is nothing wrong with playing with toys. My bills are paid and my adult stuff is seen too. The rest is my business and no one else's. I think your husband might surprise you if you let him know. He would probably be just fine with it. I know my wife is. 28 and still play with kid toys do what makes you happy. You could do a YouTube channel and tell your stories to the world. Whatever makes you happy.